Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and I'm looking here at a Ford Transit Custom. Okay, let's get inside. We have our diagnostic here ready hooked up and we'll try to start the vehicle. Apparently it doesn't start. It starts but it cuts out. So we'll get hooked up here, our diagnostic machine. This is a launch Eurotab 3. Okay, we'll get this loaded up. We have the vehicle VIN there ready. Switch ignition to two. Yes, we have. Okay, we have BCM, rear light, nothing to worry about. Intake, air system leak, bank one, turbocharger, under boost state, inner control module, EEPROM error. Um, so we might have a software issue that's stopping something from opening maybe a throttle body or whatever airflow so it's all sort of airflow related which an air leak isn't going to stop it from starting um unless they've changed the software on these vans to something like the Vivar the only van that i know that won't start if it's got an air leak anywhere past the um airflow meter is a, a Vivaro or a Renault Traffic Okay, so just done a little bit off camera there, I've taken out the airbox. We've done a smoke test with the launch smoke detector here. And um, we can't find no leaks, there's no visible leaks. None of the pipes are wet, everything's nice and dry. So I think the next step I'm gonna take is maybe get this pipe off and try and see if I can feel if the turbo's jammed up. Okay, so I'm trying to feel the turbo here. A lot of oil in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's knackered. Let me see if I can if I can get my finger in there and allow you to be able to see with the camera. Hang on a minute. It's a bit difficult for me to do both at the same time. Yep, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that is that is the wobble on the turbo there. So that turbo is definitely screwed. That's why we're not getting an airflow. As that impeller is not is not spinning. That's not going to be spinning. The shaft is broken off. Um, it's just wobbling around. Okay, I managed to get an angle here where I can actually show you on video. There's your turbo. So you, you can see I can I can get it to turn, but that's definitely failed. So, uh, bad news, unfortunately, it's going to have to get a new turbo fitted. Um, me being mobile, you know, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no to this job. I don't really want to do it. I'll uh, get it into a friend of mine's garage. I'll pass over some details. Who's Someone who's going to have a lot more time to deal with that problem. I've got non-stop DPFs to do for the next four weeks. Um, so... I'm not going to have enough time to do that. I've literally squeezed it in last minute at half five and I've got another job to get to at six o'clock. So yeah, that's that's it all diagnosed on this one. This, this guy who wants his van is a good friend of mine. Um, so I'll get it over to another friend's garage. He can sort that out. Anything that tends to take more than, a, more than a few hours to do or something that I'm going to have maybe a risk of coming back for second or third trips. I tend to just try and avoid those kind of jobs because I can't really make money from it. So we'll get it into my friend's garage, he can deal with that, and we'll see you on our next video. See you later.